Good. Uh, I'm gonna lock the, the fish first. Yeah, you're good. All right. Hi, I'm Smoky Mike, and today we landed a 46-inch sturgeon, one of the last of the dinosaurs remaining. Check this out. Go ahead and get a work yourself all the way around. See the size of my hand, the size of this fish. It's huge. That's a monster. This sturgeon has uh, razor sharp. These are razor sharp right here. Well, not quite like razor, like you're shaving your beard razor, but these are sharp. They'll cut you here. You can see them move, and they have them down the sides here like this. These are obviously for protection. Um, what they have learned to do from us catching them is uh, when they get hooked on a line, they'll swim upwards and jump out of the water and spin because they're trying to catch your line and wrap it around the, themselves, and then it'll cut on any one of these, you know, sharp razors, what they have on here right all. And they have them, they have them just on the both sides. And a uh, funny thing about this fish, it's like a, a bottom feeder, like a, like a, like, like in your fish tank, like a, the, the, the one that sucks to the glass, the glass cleaners. If you look at the mouth on this thing, it comes out like a vacuum cleaner. It sits here like that and it'll come all the way out and it, and it sits along the bottom and it sucks up clams out of clam beds. It also sucks up crabs, dead or alive. We'll probably find clams, definitely find clams and Dungeness crab inside the, 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 of this fish. Um, as you can see, it's a big fish. It's measured out to uh, 46 inches and uh, roughly 30 to 40 pounds. We're not exactly sure yet, but uh, it's 30 to 40 pounds. Definitely a big fish. A fish this size, 46 inches, is approximately 40 to 50 years old. Um, they say it's about an, a year, an inch that they grow. Um, this fish was awesome to catch. Pulled this yeah, thing in. Buddy. Fought it for, you know, 15 minutes. It, it ran under the, the, the pier. If you take a look down there, you probably won't be able to see it that well, but at the end of the pier down there is where he caught it and fought it for 15 minutes. Got it to the pier. Went down in underneath and started going under the pier twice, which is... This is the last thing you want to do as a, as a fisherman to see your fish going to the pier because it snags and will break your line. Uh, somehow John beat that, brought him back up two times, and we saw him come to the water and we knew we had this keeper. We knew he was 45, 50 inches for sure. And uh, then, uh, then we were like, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to get him in? We had borrowed the net from one of the guys down at the other end, and we knew we couldn't use it because you don't net the sturgeon. And... Uh, so we decided to hang myself off the, the back side of the pier. Unfortunately, we didn't get any footage of it because we were too much into the moment of the fish. But I hang hung off the back side of the pier with a buddy holding my arm and leg, hanging out the end, and reached down and grabbed him by the gills here and brought him up just far enough to so I can pass him to John and we got him in. And that was all the glory. That was the glory. Very nice.